All right, let's get started. I guess that there's not much for... I didn't want to spoil the sprite, but there's... It's going to show the sprite here anyway. <laughs> uh, I use a Game Boy player, yeah. I have an EverDrive for Game Boy Color and an EverDrive for Game Boy Advance. Where's ice? Alright, so this is um all the normal settings I do, so it's hard logic. Uh I guess that's the really only setting that matters is hard logic. Everything else is pretty normal. And then we have boss shuffle. So bosses and mini bosses are shuffled among each other. I think they're grouped together, so it's bosses and bosses and mini bosses and mini bosses, but still. Shuffled. <laughs> So, I don't know, let's see, Sphere Zero is literally three checks. Ah, hookshot this time. Well, that doesn't actually do much. Do, 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 do. Actually does not do much. Uh, well... I need to see what the second shop item is. Hey. Okay. Don't turn. I keep hugging the wall too much. <laughs> Can't believe I stole fifty dollars from this guy. He was trying to sell for two hundred. Okay, just a map. Do, do, do. How much do rubies matter? Uh, not at all. <laughs> well, okay, no, you need 300 for wart. <clears throat> you need 10 to do the fishing minigame. The fact that you can steal from the shop means that you don't need the million rupees for that. Oh, this is kind of weird to go this way. I want to check what the gator has before I just like, oh yeah, dog food, and then I come back and check later. He has a bow. Okay, I need dog food. I think that's the first time he's had something useful. That's not dog food. Although that is the item that comes before dog food and vanilla. <laughs> Got the bow the hard way. It's not too surprising. Oh. <clears throat> I feel like most people probably did. Thanks. <clears throat> but yeah, Feely, if you want to learn this game, you can learn any percent, no ace, in a day, because it's a five minute run. <laughs> Why did I throw it so far? Yeah, any percent, no ace is like a five minute run. Any percent with ace is like two minutes. <laughs> I did attempts of any percent with ace to see how easy it was to learn, and I kept crashing on the ace chest because it's kind of it's cycle based. Whether you get a crash or you actually get the credits warp. <laughs> it's 
It's a matter of how fast you get there. And if you get there too fast, you also get the crash. <clears throat> I need to check uh, Trendy minigame. Give. Give, please. Too, since I'm also here. I have to wait a cycle now. I couldn't do it fast enough. <clears throat> and I don't know the backup positions. Australian sword. <laughs> Thank you. I'll make good use of it. And by good use of it, I mean it is th literally the strongest weapon in the entire game. Mushroom. Do, 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 do. I think I can. Yeah, I can beat uh, Color Dungeon. That's. Okay. It is this way. Come on. These are just finicky. I feel like I know these dungeons well enough now that I don't really need to... Oh my god, the ruby. Mark stuff on the map or anything. Pineapple. Shuffle. Awkward. <laughs> I was expecting the chew. <laughs> Just brute force. It. I have the boomerang, but I didn't have feather to like jump over stuff, so I was like, uh, <laughs> much damage to Z2. Alright, what's in this room? Do I not have a key? What did I not do?
That's actually really funny. No, I do have a small key. I used it. Huh. That's really funny. Okay. So, because the logic is beatable only... This is all I can do in this dungeon. <laughs> I don't need to beat Color Dungeon. <clears throat> because I wasn't given another small key, that's it. That's it in Color Dungeon. <laughs> I need to actually beat the other dungeons, but color dungeons are like a bonus, so there was nothing there. And I only got one small key, so... Interesting. I don't think that's come up yet at all. Oh my god. You need sword to break those, by the way. Why? Yo? <laughs> okay. Oh, is it not sinking? It's not sinking. Are you serious right now? I hate this tracker sometimes. I don't like how this tracker technically works. Please. There we go. Because <laughs> I was marking stuff on the tracker. But the way that this tracker works... ...is that it's a website... ...that opens up a web socket to a broadcast view which is on a different website. So I have two websites open that are connected through a network connection in order to display the tracker. I'm going to I'm going to update the emo tracker version of the LADX tracker. Because it's way too complicated for streaming with the Magpie Tracker. It's a good tracker in terms of like it's the only one that actually like marks off progression correctly. <laughs> but for streaming, it's not very good, in my opinion. It's just a hassle. The, the emo tracker version of uh, the Link's Awakening tracker doesn't have the rooster on it. And I think that's the only thing that it doesn't have. So I think I just need to add that. I think. But yeah, that's why it wasn't sinking or showing. I don't... Where is it? There it is. I don't know if I had a better way of dealing with that than, like, just refreshing it. Not sure why it wasn't working in the first place, but... Uh, I don't have feather. Can I hit these through the wall with anything? I don't think I can. Yeah, no, I can't. Um... Guys, let's do this. Alright, let's go back down. Ow. 
do 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 God damn it. Uh, I cannot fight the Moblins. Martha's Bay holds Mermaid. That's crazy. I guess I'm gonna take the, uh... I need to go up. I guess I'm gonna do the Raft minigame. Oh, since money was asked about earlier, the Raft minigame is 100 rupees. There's another source of money. Or another reason to have it. I think you're set around, like, 500 rupees. Go. I was, I was working on the uh, the pape tracker last night a little bit. So there will be an update for that soon. <laughs> She's moving. for Catfish Mall. Another fucking seashell. Base key is at Eagle Tower. Oh my god. Cringe. <laughs> Actually kind of disgusting. go through the cave for that. At this rate, I'm going to get the seashell check. Oh, no. We have rooster. I don't have flippers, though. Why am I in here? Yo, Palos. Rooster, please. Rooster, please. Rooster, please! Go down! Thank you. <laughs> Rooster, please. Donk. Oh my god. Oh, thank god it puts me over here. Because my dog food is... I do need the bow. The bow is... Is the bow mandatory? 
bow is, I'm pretty sure, mandatory. Well, no, because I have boomerang. I don't think the bow is actually needed. Damn, this is weird. Ow. Bruh. Bracelets. And a weightlifting competition. Damn. Yeah, there are, there's like one or two checks that require bow, regardless. How many do I have, actually? I'm, okay, I was counting correctly. Is there anything else that the rooster immediately gave me? Yeah, there is. Oh, I didn't go to Animal Village. God damn it. <laughs> I'll make my way back around to that. <clears throat> oh! I could have done this earlier. Let me show you guys the hookshot method. Yeah. <laughs> but I need Rooster for this one regardless. this way. It might be. That gets me the warp, if nothing else. And then I'll go to the Armos. Oh my god. Stalker. I don't have bombs, no reason to go down there. If you want shovel, start looking in Mabe Village. Okay. Uh, that means it's probably... Might be in Dreamhouse. Ah. 
Do 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 do. Hello. Okay. Fine. Listen, Tektite. That gets me a bow. <laughs> okay. That's a piece of power. Piece of power and, uh... <laughs> piece of power and the nuts, uh, give you... Strength up and defense up, respectively. And they drop every... Certain amount of enemy kills. Uh, because it's temporary anyway, so it doesn't really matter. It's also really slow. There's also Dream House. I can technically do some Dream House stuff. One check. Awkward without, uh... So, arrows can't kill them. I mean... Bow stuns them so that you... You won't take damage. really weird. It's just really awkward because they do like four hearts a damage. This is something that's on hard logic that I don't particularly care for. Uh, I don't think I can use bird in here. Yeah, you can't use bird inside buildings. It's just really weird. Really weird logic. There's my shovel. <laughs> Go away from the corner. Go this way to turn the toadstool and do the graveyard checks. This is pretty weird progression, just in terms of like how gated it kind of is. At least so far. Mm -hmm. 
Man, Master Stolfo's ch uh, let me use Hookshot instead. Well, bird's faster for what I want to do. Okay. I should have equipped the, uh, Toadstool. Hundred rupees. Do do. <laughs> okay. This lets me. I think that lets me just beat D two outright. So. This lets me do a lot. You're not wrong. There are a lot. Definitely a lot of holes in the ground. Phone. I jumped too early. Well, there's my nightmare key. I should just save and quit. Give me this. I've already done like most things here. Okay, I do not need that. That is fine. That can stay there. I don't have the ocarina. Tracker froze again. Great.
It seems like Magpie is having issues today. I do not like web services being the only way to do things. <laughs> this room sucks so much. Come on, man. You're supposed to wait for them to open their eyes, but they don't open their eyes. Dude! did not kill you yet. I mean, it, this definitely does suck. <laughs> this is definitely a terrible mini-boss to get here. Come on, man. Finally, one of them's dead. <laughs> Goma sucks in this game so badly. Because you just wait. You just wait. Without Ocarina, you have to just wait. Goma, please. God, man. Stop doing this. Just open your eyes so I can hit you, please. Not in the corner where you're invincible. You're still not dead. I hate Goma. <laughs> Why does this page just not want to work? It just does not want to sink. Okay. Maybe this will fix it. Yeah, Goma is a terrible fight. <laughs> Goma is a terrible, terrible fight. Almost as bad as Slime Meal. Almost. Oops.
Thunderboard was a stick. That stick is useful. Oh, this might... Mm. This isn't necessarily Genie. It is Genie, okay. Axel story time. One day I was vibing with guys at work and this Mercedes pulls up. A girl gets out and we were watching her. She turns around I say, bruh, she has the body of a kingdom with a face to guard it. They absolutely lost it. Laughing so hard they could not breathe as we all scramble to get inside the building. Fanto 274 oh, oh, oh. Thank you for the 200 bits, Axel. <laughs> I don't know why you did 200, but thank you. Because there's no way you're close to another like milestone, right? That's awkward. Oh, that's really awkward. Does that... Can I do that? No, okay, not yet. <laughs> um... What am I missing for... That. For D7, what am I missing at the moment? Boots. Duh. Um, I can get to Candlelight Castle, though. I can go this way. You did 200 without thinking. I mean, fair. That makes more sense. forget what can and can't uh what pushes you need to lift with bracelet versus which ones you can destroy it's very arbitrary He does not get hurt by that. I need to use this. God. Uh, I don't have bombs though, so I can't do everything here. Sure, I'm counting these correctly. Eleven. Really wants me to get the seashell check. Apparently, I feel like this is faster than it normally gives you these things. I mean, I don't need that at all. 
doesn't think that I can get that, can it? No, okay. There's no way to... The other check in there is a bomb check. And I don't have bombs. Uh, I guess I'm checking going to D5. Okay, it's still working. I think it might have just been a checkbox that I forgot about. This tracker is very convoluted compared to what I'm used for like literally every every other game. Mambo's Mambo. Um, I'm gonna go this way first. For some reason, I thought I'd boomerang equip still. Uh, no reason to go up there. Ow. Can I get... Oh, I don't have bombs. Okay. I'm actually done here. Um... Yeah, let's just warp home. I need bombs and s I need ways to kill Master Stalvos, so I'm definitely done there. I need to do this. Oh, actually, Rod might have killed Master Stalvos. at Catfish Maw. Doesn't matter. Okay. Does the tracker think I can beat Master Stalfos? Because it probably does, actually. Unless I can get there from somewhere else. No. Okay. Tracker does think I can beat Master Stalfos, so I'm gonna try. I've never done it without bombs and sword. So something I have is able to beat him. Maybe Boomerang does damage to him, or Magic Rod. Not something I considered. It also doesn't have to be Ma No, it has to be Master Stalfos. He cannot be randomized. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, that's not doing <laughs> That's not doing anything. Bookshot? No. I'm not sure how I'm supposed to kill him, but the tracker says that I can make it further in the dungeon. So I'm probably... there's probably a different path I can take. Just kill me. It's faster. Okay, so I think it, in that case I have to go this way, right? That staircase doesn't do anything for me. It's this staircase. Can I get up there? No. Can I get to that? Oh! Wait, no, that's the wrong staircase. Why does the tracker think I can do this? There must be something with hard logic that lets me get there. It thinks I can get to this part, to the part past Master Stalfos, but I don't have a weapon that lets me kill him. It didn't feel like Hookshot was doing damage to him, but it says that it does? <laughs> the tracker says that it does? It definitely did not feel like it was. see how because it's dinking Bruh. how am I supposed to do damage to you with hookshot you need to you need to do something trying to like how what am i how does this do damage it literally is dinking uh you use bombs and sword but i have neither the tracker says that i can beat him with hookshot or get to this part of the dungeon with hookshot it can't be that it can't be actually beating him I refuse to believe it's actually beating him. So I can come up here. Oh. Oh, 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 oh. I see what I have to do. No, it has nothing to do with Master Stalfos. Uh, from this room... I have to fight a mini-boss. This is Goma and Vanilla. Are you serious, man? I have to do this without sword? That sucks. 
<laughs> Doing this without sword is awful. Oh my god. How do I do this without sword? Literally how? This is technically possible. Technically. Dude. I don't know how to beat him without sword, other than needing to time every single boomerang throw perfectly. Fuck, I missed two. This is like the epitome of technicalities in terms of like what I could be doing right now. Technically beatable. Feasibly, probably not. The only way that I could skip this is if I had sword. And sword would let me beat this easily. <laughs> Yo, punk, thank you for the 18 months. Of tier one. Bro, I hate this guy so much. This is terrible. This is actually just terrible. Yo, Gyro guy. I need to watch the order that these come in. That was so fast, man. I need to kill all of these with Boomerang in one go. This is so terrible. And then they go at an angle where I can't physically do it. I don't have a sword, and I need to do so many things right now without a sword that normally require a sword. Bro! Namely, fights. Fights that are typically only done with sword, I have to do without it right now. And that's making this very not fun. This is in logic, yes. This is pretty much the only thing available to me at the moment. this guy.
This is my logical way to progress in D5. <laughs> to get here. So... What I can do, I think... That doesn't get pushed. So if I'm here... How does this work? Because this is definitely what I'm supposed to do to get over here. Or it's definitely how the randomizer expects me to get over there. Maybe I can't do it because I don't have a small key anymore. No, that, that wouldn't be the case. Because, like, I can't push this. I mean, I have the red warp now. Like, I can come this way again. Because it definitely expects me to go that way. But I don't know if I need a key to open this lock. Technically. Yo, Mario Man. I think that might be the case. Unless I can clip through here somehow. I think it might just be that without a key I can't do this. Find another small key. Okay. So I think you have to come from... I think what you have to do is be able to open this. And then you can, like, do something with Hookshot to get back down there. To that side. Okay. I am giving up on D5. Fuck D5. Just the absolutely fuck that dungeon right now. If I had a key, I would have been able to progress somehow. But I didn't think I had already used both small keys. This seed in general, like, really sucks. Like, this is a really awful seed. Um... Not having sword makes it particularly bad. Alright, I'm just gonna go get this check. This check is really slow. Like, there is a point where you just can't do anything without sword. Great. Okay. So from here... What else is open to me? There was one other check I was looking at. I got the stick, I guess. And I haven't looked to see what that is yet. Master just home warp. Please. Press all the buttons at the same time. Oh, it was D3. Shovel. 
Okay. Stick check, and then towards D3. Because I had never checked what this is. Oh my fucking god. I still can't do anything in E5 without bombs. Still need bombs for D5. Sword currently unlocks like a small bit. Yo, help me. Yo, look with stranger. I was making my way over here. All over the windfish. gets me d7 access without boots So we're going the long way. Supposedly I can go all the way up here. I thought I needed boots for this though, which is the main issue. Uh, I'm gonna kill the moblins. Indiscriminately. Supposedly, I can do this. It's probably because of Rooster, I'm guessing. Garbage. 
what other way would I have to get up there? If I can't, like, push these. Oh, I see it. Jank. Jank. <laughs> Jank. Incredibly stupid jank. If only I had boots to move at any reasonable speed. Instead, I have to walk at a snail's pace. Until I find my movement speed item. I know that the face key is supposed to be up here from a hint. These are all rooms that I never do without boots. Literally never have done without boots. Please let me in the dungeon. dungeon in the game. <laughs> God. Raised still. Do 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 do. Oh, no reason in particular. I 
hate this room. <laughs> Holy shit! <laughs> Finally! <laughs> Movement speed! <laughs> that doesn't really matter because I'm in this dungeon. But... <laughs> There's the face key. Oh, man. Okay, so I still need bombs. I need bombs, frog song of soul, ocarina, and a progressive power bracelet. Anti fairy. So here's the interesting part. I still don't have bombs. I'm progressing through this dungeon as if I do. But... You have keys. There aren't many checks left without bombs. Yo, Stavros. Okay. Is that everything I can do here? I think it is. Uh, no, there's one other check. There is a single check I can do. It's this chest. So from here, I need to go... Over here. Not here. I need to go around? How do I get to that switch? This is always the worst chest. 
Kirby, get out of the way. Don't mind me. Alright, I am currently done with D7, which sucks. I need bombs to progress here. Um... I have to climb the mountain again. And go a different way. Technically, it's a Game Boy game, but <laughs> close enough. I can enter D6 now that I have face key, but I want to do these checks first. Seashells is that? 13. This is a shitty seed. <laughs> I don't know why you did this. Vanilla Master Sword. <laughs>
I've already had to dive D5 and D7. Without being able to beat them. And I'm about to do D6 with also without being able to beat it. If I don't find power bracelets. Okay. Well, now I can f no. Well, okay. It doesn't have to be facade. But there is still a bunch of stuff in D6 that requires bombs. And I still don't have bombs. So... Questionable. Can't believe it. Unacceptable. Have I been able to go into a dungeon and beat it the first try at all in the seed? I don't think I have. I guess technically... I mean, that's gonna be less likely- more likely to- or less likely to be the case in future ones, but... I need bombs for D6. So, we're in a predicament. Yeah, that's what I thought, Moonracer. This Wizrobe did not die from any of that. Okay. no reason to break that, but... Um... Screw it, I'm just gonna go up here. Not even gonna flip that switch. Because I'm just gonna do this anyway. Oh, I need to kill this one. Just gonna do that anyway, so.
Uh, there is one check behind 20 seashells. Yeah. Was robe. <laughs> uh, let me get some health. Time to go this way. I am missing the vanilla power bracelets chest for now. Uh, stone beaks give you a hint at owl statues inside dungeons. One owl statue per dungeon. But I never go to the owl statues in the dungeons. <laughs> I have to do it this way. I get one try at this. I forgot to flip the thing. Yeah. That is the most annoying check I can think of. I'll kill that on the way back. Can you get out of my way? You have to do this again. These tile rooms do not save that you've finished them. And the other thing that doesn't save is that you killed these whiz robes. chest. Okay. I will take my health. I will be cheating to go up there. No, pieces of hearts don't heal you. You need to actually have four. Feather. Oh, hey, my shield. <laughs> ah. 
I have two keys, so I don't have to do this. Let's do that. Um, from here, and I'll just go back around. I don't feel like potentially soft locking. I do need two shields, regardless. Oh, I need bombs. Well, I guess I'm done here. Because <laughs> I need bombs to progress. Alright. What did I get here? Anything? I mean, a, a shield. A shield doesn't do much on its own. I have the fishing hook. <laughs> Bombs are currently D7 and D6 completion. D5, 6, and 7 are all gated behind bombs at the moment. Yeah, since I haven't technically been marking, like, what I've actually done, I need to r remind myself. Yo, name. The Armos Knights I can't do, because that was the Dongos. That's bomb blocked. <laughs> How am I bomb blocked like everywhere? just bomb blocked on every single piece of potential progression. That's insane. Alright, boots bonking into trees. That's something I haven't done. That was the thing that I hadn't done yet. shield. It does nothing. It does absolutely nothing. Is there another boots bonk tree somewhere? I 
I'm just gonna start marking these. I've already done all this stuff. Done this, this, this. Oh, I can get that mad batter now. Okay. Uh, it's gonna be faster to go from here. I didn't have flippers for this before. This might be the last thing I currently have open. Bananas. Are you fucking kidding me. This is ridiculous. <laughs> Let me up the ledge, please. God. Oh no, I can just go up here. sure what I had found. It, I just had like a really long chain. Bananas leading to angler key leads into D4 entrance. I have L2 shield, which is mirror shield. Mirror shield literally doesn't matter, but I have it. E4.
D4 is not bomb blocked. <laughs> so as long as the boss of D4 isn't facade, um, I should be able to beat it. Although there is... This check is bomb blocked. Yeah, odds are pretty good of this being beatable. I did beat D2. L2 sword. I mean, that's nice for damage. That is the most damage I would otherwise get. Was that necklace? It was. Uh, it's a single check. But it's a really fast check, so might as well get it when I have the chance. Bro, I hate tug tides. Get out of here. Get that on the way back. God damn it. <laughs> Frog Song of Soul. Okay. Get away from me. <laughs> oh my god, hit the thing. Doo -doo -doo. Attack tights. Actually here, here. All right. Time to see what the boss is. It just can't be facade. Anything but facade. And I should be able to beat it. Oh, 
hello. God, that did so much damage. I have medicine. It's fine. Hello, hothead. Bruh. This room is oddly small. E4! Hibiscus! <laughs> uh, more single checks. Hibiscus and necklace, I guess. Yeah, that didn't really get me anything. <laughs> It got me nothing major. I guess there's only like one major check left, but still. I don't want to get down there. I guess just home warp. Ocarina. Okay. Well, that's a couple checks. Fifty dollars. That's crazy. <laughs> There's a few. Basically, right now, all I'm doing is Ocarina checks. Uh, this way's faster.
Okay. I had to. I can now beat five, beat three different dungeons because I got bombs. Five, six, and seven, all beatable with bombs. I have medicine, right? Yeah, okay. I'm going to go beat six first. Uh, Splatoon emblem. Let me through. I hate this room. <laughs> oh, hey, look, I have bombs now. Oh, hi. I need slime key and tail key. And that's technically go mode.
literally just need the keys to enter the last dungeons. God damn it. God, get me out of the hole. That's not what I thought it was. Bro, get on the right side of it. Definitely did not think it was Gigazole. Oh, lame. Definitely thought it was facade. swim let me swim let me swim let me swim to fight Master Stalfos. Oh my god. <laughs> As intended. Fuck this guy. Where's my feather? Oops.
I'll do this Master Solfos fight first. Yeah, of course he did. What else would he say? <laughs> that does literally nothing, but still. Principle of the matter of finding Bow Wow there. Oh, I need to lift this. I'll hookshot you. Holy shit. Homosaur. <laughs> Out of the way. Nice dungeon map for... what is it here? Let me get it. Turtle Rock map! Crazy. <laughs> oh, I need hookshot for this room. I like never come in here. How do I not have a small key? What room didn't I go to? Oh, it's literally on Slime Meal. Or whatever the boss is. Damn. <laughs> I guess I have to go this way. I was like, oh, I opened the red warp. Oh, I didn't find the third small key. Have to go this way.
There has to be a way that I can do this. Because this doesn't technically... How am I supposed to get to this? Logically. Maybe I can boot stash and feather jump. You cannot bird inside of a dungeon. That's how you're supposed to do it. <laughs> the rooster only works in the overworld. I guess this technically could be slimy, so I'll keep. Oh, hello, Moldorm. Oh, hey, look, the small key. You can open a locked door. <laughs> All right, back up to D7. Well, D8 first? This doesn't really matter. They're about both as equally shit to get to. D8 has more checks. But I guess that's also reason to do D7. D7 is just a clear. This was just bomb block for so long. Um. Unironically, this is a this part up here. Is a lot better on the Switch remake. Getting from D7 to D8 is, like, possible with out going all the way down. Oh my god. Because you can kind of cheese it. I guess I'm doing D7 first. There's also this check up here. In the Switch remake... Because the game is 3D... And physics are a little weird... You have some fun movement options. Not gonna lie, like, I've kind of felt like wanting to do switch runs again. And maybe even just, like, not do D4 key skip. Obviously, it wouldn't be a new run, so it wouldn't really fit on the schedule. But... <laughs> I'd have to reinstall the game. Yo, Star. Do. 
You missed all of the, the bad part of the seed where I had to suffer. <laughs> I spent a very long time being bomb blocked. Um. Yeah, let's go this way. Okay, so that's still there. this one. <laughs> No, man. Dude. In speedruns, these enemies are RNG manipped. So you don't have to, like, deal with their bullshit. <laughs> I mean, it's basically the same thing I was doing, except in the opposite order. It wouldn't really change anything. Because no matter what, you have to hit them so they all end on the same thing. So confused. This what? The tower collapsed. Did it not save that the tower collapsed? When I did a save and quit this just there? Why would the red warp take me to a room that doesn't exist? I'm so confused. No. Where am I? I'm 
so confused as to where I am. What the fuck is going on? What happened? Why is my dungeon not collapsed? Get out of the way. Does that not save? I don't get it. <laughs> Whatever. You have to do a screen transition? That's... So stupid. Are you fucking kidding me? There's nothing I can do about that. This seed has been so awful. Like, so miserably bad. It's evil eagle. There has to be a better way to get down and get to D8. That doesn't involve traversing the entire mountain again, one way or the other.
I'm kind of just hoping that D8 has my two dungeon keys, because I want to be done with this seed. This seed has been really bad. Bombs being as late as they were made everything just like really, really painfully linear in probably the worst possible way. Climb tall, tall mountain, please. Without getting rained on by boulders. Where's my... Wow, I can carry more bombs, you say. That's crazy. The tail key. I can do D1 now. <laughs> I do have to clear everything just in case I find the, um, oops. Uh, the slime key also. <laughs> well, 
Wrong one. Where does this go? Never been in this room before. Oh, that's here. Okay. Uh, that's kind of convenient enough. Rover? Where's my mini boss shuffle? Unironically, a lot of the mini bosses have been vanilla. And still have a lot of bosses. Go mode. <laughs> That's crazy. Fuck this dungeon. <laughs> actually, no, D8's fine. I actually don't mind D8. D8 is a good dungeon. More than why did it have my last two dungeon keys inside of it? Yeah, D7 is really the only bad one. Is this facade? It's probably facade. That was too low. I mean, facade without tiles or... <laughs> Bots is kind of silly. Because he's not really doing anything for a while. What bosses are left between the two dungeons? It's Slime Eel and... Um... I'm trying to think of a... Oh, uh... Piranha Killer. <clears throat> Fish. Take medicine.
<laughs> Doesn't matter. I just need the nightmare key. I just need the nightmare key. <laughs> The nightmare key. Vanilla? Oh no, I have the nightmare key. Really? I do. I don't know why I didn't remember picking that up. Two seconds ago. Rover. Damn it, Rover. Oh, my God. Oh my god, Rover! Where are you going? Oh my god. Fuck Rover, man. Come on. Where are you going? Die. This is either the fish or... How do you do this? In this room? What do I do? Good God. I hate this. How did that miss? You've got to be kidding me. Okay, thank God. <laughs> if that had put me in the lower level and reset Slime Meal's health... That would have been insane. Okay, D3. Some amount of mercy. God. That would have been awful. <laughs> that was already pretty bad, because there's no safe spot to stand. Unlike normal. this seed played out, I had to dive into 5, 6, and 7 to get progression for other places to then eventually, eventually get bombs to go in and clear those three dungeons. That was how this seed played out. <laughs> 
bombs were the last, like, progressive item I got. Go down here. Going to hope that none of those is the nightmare key. How many small keys do I have? Two at the moment, so I found three in total. Didn't want the nut. I know this isn't the Dongos. Um. Not really what I had in mind. For what that was gonna be. That's all my small keys that I technically need. It's in the bad rooms. Well, I don't care about the honeycomb. There it is. I 
together. How fast will he die? Okay. Okay, what a seed. What a seed. I can only hope that I don't get one like that again anytime soon. Way too long. Without, um... Sword and bombs, specifically. Yeah, this is the end. I just need to beat Death Eye. Well, Nightmare, Death Eye, whichever. The entire thing. Teleporting. Never lucky. I mean, one blue ball is not, like, bad.
do and do. Ow. Hello, Death Eye. Can you open your eye? Finally open your eye. All right, he's dead. <laughs> Boomerang. Boomerang. <laughs> Holy shit. God. Still sub three. But that was not a that was not a straightforward easy seed like the last couple were. See this happen. Oh my god. Being like effectively sword blocked for the first what hour? <laughs> Decoupled entrance rando. I would consider it at this point, because I think I'm like I know enough of the game that I could probably do it, but I would need incentive to do so. <laughs> Yeah, and then immediately bomb blocked anyway after sword. But yeah. Ah. Other than being hard blocked on sword and bombs for half the seed, uh, the rest of it was pretty okay. <laughs> ah. So thank you for watching Link's Awakening, Rando. If you're watching on YouTube, uh, like the video, subscribe to the YouTube channel for more Zelda randos, Pape randos, Pokemon randos, and I don't know, that's kind of it. <laughs> it's mostly those three genres. Uh, and I will see the YouTube viewers next time if they made it to the end, which they might have. People actually watch LADX. Compared to Minish Cap. <laughs> Although I kind of hate ending before seeing the check count. So I will wait for the check count before I just, like, end the recording. Oh. I am a little sad that... Not as many people watched the the dog seed, the Bow Wow seed, because I think that one was pretty funny, but <laughs> just saying. That seed, that, that VOD has done the worst of the LEDX seeds, and even then it's outperformed Minish Cap randos on average. Especially in eating random villagers. <laughs> the Bow Wow seed is- Bow Wow is like really weird. The Bow Wow stuff is good though. How many checks? What's our check count? One seventy-six out of two twenty. That's not actually well, okay. We skipped a lot in, like, obviously, not even that much in D1 or D3. I think she still did most of it. I don't know, there was a lot of overworld stuff that got skipped, because it didn't matter at the end. But yeah, thank you for watching for real this time. Goodbye, YouTube. Do all the things, and watch more videos. Peace.